Morning, Claire. Morning, Mia. This is the Cheese and Wine Painting Club. It's Friday's free Facebook paint. Daisy's ready to go. I'm Ed, Daisy. Daisy, Ed. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Right, before we start, oh, we are going to paint this uh, amazing painting. Here's one I made earlier. Uh, it's called The Walk by Leonid Afrimov. And if you've never painted before in this class, what we do is I give this one to Daisy. That's her reference. Then I paint it all again, you all follow me, and the jobs are good. Um, there's a couple of, um, we only ever post, we only ever post PayPal links onto the thing, so there's, if there's any like, if there's any suspicious posts, don't click on them, because there's some dodges. Right then, Jace, have you started already? Okay, everybody, paint the whole thing yellow. It's always a good start, we paint the whole thing yellow. You can use a bit of water to um, to loosen up your paint a bit, but that's the start. That's, that's your starting manoeuvre. I'm going to try and get myself. Let's go. Let's go. Set up this. Is Dexter watch? Is Dexter watch? I don't know. All right, there we go. That's what you're going to try and do, Des. Mm. Have you done this one before? Yeah. We're looking pretty smart today, aren't we? Say hello, Des. You've got a matching yeah. sequin there. I haven't got my gold dress on. Got my gold dress. <laughs> right. Okay. I'll race you. There's your head start. Now, no, don't panic, everyone. I always go really fast. Um, that's because I've got to try and fit it into an hour and a half. And you can watch this back later. So at half one, when we finish. Um, it sort of automatically uploads onto the Facebook page, so don't panic. And also there's a quarter of an hour break, um, which is supposed to be for a break, but if you want to catch up during that time when you're doing it live, then that's cool. One new canvas, dunk. You're never going to win. Is it a competition day today? Yes. Okay. What's the prize? Uh, pot noodle. Pot noodle. Yes. Pot noodle prize. What if I don't win? Do, 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 do. What if I don't win? That. Yeah. Hey, Maria. She wants to start with the lightest colour. I forgot, I always forget to say this. You don't have to listen to me at all if you don't want to. You can just freestyle the whole thing. Um, if you like, if you like. So the first thing we're going to paint the whole thing yellow and then actually we're going to go on with white. And in the break we're going to do shout out. So comment shout out if you want. You have to turn around Jace, no one can hear you. Uh, okay, I want to win this <laughs> Okay, here we go. Finally I'm painting. So straight yellow, the whole thing. You lot are already probably done by now. Big brush if you've got a choice. Use a bit of water and I've got a bigger brush in you. Ha. Oh. No. No. You want to use a bit of water if it's a competition, if it's a speed painting competition. I might take my little notice down because I don't want to get a little paint over it. There we go, we've 
looking a bit like that cupboard again later. Who's finished the yellow painting yet? Nobody? That's good. <laughs> oh, she's painted like a crazy one. Go, Dace. Go on. So if you are, if you're lucky enough to be using canvas, um, paint around the edges. Dad. Oh, well done. You never need that. Oh, I'm dead. You see, on that computer over there, Dace. Yes. This one over here. Yes. We just need to. Oh, you got messy hands. No, I haven't. You see, any of these, yes. just press, press that and then delete. Everything okay. that looks like that, yeah? Okay. Like that, like delete. that. Thank you very much. Okay, so you seem to have won that bit. Right. So this painting, it might look a bit tricky, but we're going to break it down into stages. And I don't think it's that bad. As opposed to any David Hockney, it looks easy. It's not easy. That's how we kind of... Okay, nothing like it so far. We good, Dave? Yes. All right, then. Jump back in here, and then we need to find... Once we've painted our... Whole canvas or paper yellow. We need the most important part of this painting. Well, probably yeah. the most important part of this painting is our tree. No. Any other guesses? Sort of. It's the vanishing point, which is here. This. So if you all, every, if everyone just got listened for, for like two minutes whilst you're still painting your yellow. This is the most important part of the painting, this vanishing point here, because everything leads to this point. You can see that one there, I mean not the tree, but here, here, and it's not an actual point, it's just sort of this sort of rough area here, so that's what we need to find now. And if we work it out, again like most weeks this, the whole, these fantastic paintings, they're all composed in thirds, so you know, a third up here is roughly good. Like this is a third up from the bottom, and that's roughly where that is. And it's not quite a third. Of, it's not in the middle. It's just like a little bit further across. So we need to just do a tiny little dot in, say, an orange. So add a bit of red. Tiny red goes a long, 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 long way. So that one millimeter of red will go. Um, will turn your yellow orange enough. So if we can just do oh, that oh, here, nice. I'll show you. Dave, did you yes, listen to any of that? that? You got me? You got me? I think so. Okay. So we're gonna go a little brush or medium brush or, yeah, a little brush mm. or medium brush. Oh, kind yeah. of a medium brush, Keith. Thank Thanks very much. Great. Now I want the best And one. it's the tiny, like a tiny, tiny, tiny. That's more red than I'm gonna use in a year. Uh, <laughs> well, I, just that's fine. Study. I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you broke it. Okay, so a third up, this. A third up, uh, not quite in the middle, a little bit to the side, maybe it's a third up. So we just do a little dot there. Just do a little dot there. Is everyone alright? If I can see. Did it, did it. The feed is looking okay. Everyone can hear us. And Vicky says hi. Hi, Vicky. Brilliant. We've got a little dot there, Dave. I think for yours, just put it a little bit further towards the middle. Not oh, that's the middle. Not right in the middle. About there. And that's so uh, where Daisy's got the middle dot. That's roughly where you want. Look at your reference all the time, and it's that there. What? So. We're gonna just we're gonna we're gonna start mapping the whole thing out, and if we put the horizon line in really roughly, that's just a straight line all the way to the edge. See if you can get it as flat as possible. Now, if you're using chalk or watercolor, it's a bit difficult, and I can't teach both at the same time. So you're just gonna have to use your judgment on that. 
um, and buy some like, acrylic paint. This is acrylic paint. Um, but we can still sketch. So if you're doing that, maybe you could just use a pencil to match these things out. We've got this line here, okay? And then, that's beautiful, this. Yes. Did it! Oh, absolutely. So halfway up in between this little gap here, come over here and have a look at this. Halfway up here, see this gap we've got here? Ooh. We do a little dot here, and that's the edge of the river. And then roughly it goes in like that. We don't need to put loads of paint on, it's just like a rough, real rough sketch. Oh my and that's gosh. the edge of the river. No. But I've got I know, but you, you just have to hold on to it. Oh. So that's the first one. Yeah, that's great, Tess, to go back and break it. And then, then in at the bottom, a couple of inches in at the bottom, for the rest of the embankment bit, the grassy bit, and the edge of the footpath is here. Everything points to this vanishing point, roughly, okay? Beautiful. Now, slap bang in the middle of your painting, right in the middle, bang in the middle, boom. Do a little dot in the middle at the bottom, little dot in the middle at the bottom, and it's some, should be fairly obvious what that is going to be. That is going to be the edge of the footpath. Ta-da. Let me just check. Everyone's all right and can hear me. Can you hear us? Yep, they can hear us, Days. Yeah. Who are you looking at there? <laughs> I don't know. It's here, the camera's here. It's on my I phone. Know. All right. Okay, okay. That's good, Dave. That's good. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now, roughly, the edge of the bottom of these trees, really roughly, want to be kind of like that. Ooh. So it's like a little inch up on the bottom left side. And we just really roughly sort of sketch that in. And that's where the bottom of the trees are. So we've got footpath, things, river, da da da. Alright. Now, this is the most important bit. Bah. Beautiful. <laughs> this is the most important bit, so listen up. Um, we need a clean brush and some white paint. A clean brush. No, a clean brush, please. And some white paint. Warm in sequence. Really warm in sequence. I know. I wonder if anyone else is with. And I get the knife. Okay. Sorry. So we need a clean brush and some white paint. We're going to paint the street. We're going to paint the lamps, the light bit of the lamps. Look how beautiful. Oh, it's a good brush, that face. Oh, a lovely brush, that. That's green. Oh. Have you got some white paint? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's my reference. That's my reference. Hopefully, you've got yours printed out. So, imagine there's a line. I'll tell you what we'll do, actually. <laughs> we'll do a little white dot here. We're not going to use this dot. We'll just you do... have a bit of the edges. Oh, oh, no, you're right. I'll do that later. I'll do that later, boss. Sorry. Tiny little dot on the edge. And then remember, the tops of these, we're going to do these uh, <laughs> lamp bulbs. Right? So you're going to imagine oh, there's a line that goes all the way down here, but it's a little bit up. On, it's a little bit up on our vanishing point because the light bulbs are higher, right? So it's just here. So if we do a tiny little dot a little bit up here in white. Beautiful. Right, now we've got to start painting in the lamps. So really, if we look at it, you could probably count, you could probably count eight lamps. But really, there's only four that are important and the rest of them just slide off into the distance. Five, six, seven. Yeah. But there's really four that are important. Like these. One, two, three. Exactly. Halfway between this dot and this dot, we do a little lamp. Straight white. Little. A little lamp. And that is this one here. And then we've got two more here. We've got one there. And we've got a big one at the top. And then we do one more here, smaller, but on that line, and then the rest of them, we don't really care about too much. I'm going to give you a minute to get that sorted out. So the, rest, the, the last few in the distance are more of a smudge. So we're imagining a line here. 
This is the only difficult bit. After this, it's really, it's really straightforward. It's just like quite cool coloring in, and uh, lots of paint, and you should get a good job. But if you get this bit right, all of your perspective is going to work out. The old days, I think you might have actually absolutely got that. We need to get rid of this line on the edge. It's so hot, isn't it, Dave? Tell you what, put that fan on. Hang on, put it on number three. So again, we imagine a line, pick the one in the middle, which is the third lamp along, and then you can make the rest of them up from there if everyone's all right. Yeah, you need steady hands. This is the only hard bit. It's the only hard bit, people are panicking. So that's way better, isn't it, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> This is the only hard bit, so don't panic. Take your time. The rest of it's plain sailing. So we have the vanishing point, we've got this. I'll just recap here. Like this, like this. And then we have this, is the white this brush line here, which is slightly higher up. I got blue on the white brush. It doesn't matter if you only have three lamp posts. It doesn't matter if we have 25 lamp posts. We just need the thing that matters is we get in that. The line of perspective, so it gives us the depth of the painting. Woof! Is everyone all right? You're all right, Dave. You've got this down, haven't you? Yeah. You've got a messy hand already. All right. Okay. Okay. We're going to crack on. We are going to crack on now, and it's not so bad. We're going to... Um, you ready, guys? So the lightest part of the paintings are the light bulbs, okay? With a very light orange, which is red, and yellow, yellow we go around the edges. So if you can imagine these are beaming lights, so we're just going to go around the edges of these light bulbs. In an in a orangey colour. That brush you gave me was dirty, Dave. My orange is brown. Hmm. <laughs> and it's rough. You can use your fingers. Finger painting is great. You can always use fingers. My brush is dirty too. So, oh, we're on the too. same page. We're on the same page. So, what we want, we want like a little gradient, really. It's from what to what? From white to orange. This is probably too dark. So I always find it's easy if you paint a little bit and then just blend it in with your fingers a little bit. Here we go. Okay, this is where I'm going to speed up and then you can catch up. I know, because I haven't done it yet. Like I've got okay. I'm going to speed up. And then you can see what we need to get up to. Orange, 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 orange. Until so it's basically a light orange until you get close to the light bulbs, and then it sort of just fades off. I've got the window open. People are looking at me. Like some sort of window. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So on daisies, here we go. Look, this is a good. It's a bit, on daisies, it's a bit too close to the, to the white. That's good, right about there. So you leave the yellow around the white. It's easy soon, soon it's easy. Everything else goes orange. You can put some orange up here. Orange. So we need orange over here. Yellow. We leave, we leave yellow. the yellow. We can paint this rough sketchy. Is everyone all right? Yeah, okay. Shout out to Granny and Papa. Shout out to Granny and Papa. We want to see the fancy dress. Um, so, hopefully we've got this far. It's looking good, Dave. The bottom, so the bottom part of the painting is all flat. We need to build it up a bit, so, and our, the direction of the brush strokes is important. So everything from the bottom of the trees all the way across to the, the, the edge of the river is basically flat. We don't want to forget totally about our lines of perspective. 
But we do need to start putting some paint. Oh, that's good, Days. And then under here. Oh. Wait, does that have to be a gradient? No, it doesn't have to be a gradient. I don't care too much about this. So you can just toss that on. And then on the bottom part, remember where our trees are roughly going to go on this line here. So then we just need to put some orange. Like that. And you can leave a bit of yellow poking through just to give you like um, a bit of a guide so you don't forget what's what. Done! Good one, Dave. So that's looking all right. So now, oh, the nice. last bit I just did was this. Roughly, that's basically all I asked about, Dave. If you, if you go in... Um, Please, can I take this off? <laughs> do you really want to take it off? Okay, take it off. Dave. I won't take my skirt off. She's had enough of the sparkle. Are you taking it off, Dave? Oh. I won't take my skirt off. You're not going to keep your skirt on, are you? I'll take off that. <laughs> Okay. Um, if you have thick, if you're painting this, it all depends on your painting Sorry. style. Sorry, what have you done? I accidentally knocked it Sorry, a little. It depends on your painting style. Of course, I can't see yours yet. But you do send them in later. If you use, if you want to use thick paint at the bottom and thin paint the further away, I did it. the better. Oh dear, this has put itself into some sort of. Oh. Oh. So nice. If you want to use a bit of straight red on the bottom, you can do. Ta da! Right then, so how much paint are you going to get on that dress? Yeah. Right, good one. Good one. Right, you just press oh, wait, that down. Don't put your hands in there. <laughs> wait, what am I doing? Red. Uh, just a little bit of red down the bottom, just to help bring the foreground forward a bit. Okay. Now, believe it or not, we're on trees next. I'll give you two minutes to catch up. Whilst well, so I delete some of this. Oh, Magda's trying to find some white paint. Look under the stairs. Under the stairs. Seriously, it doesn't the, have the paint stairs. we use <laughs> is acrylic paint. It's the same as any household emulsion. It's the expensive stuff of household emulsion, but that's what it is. So if you're looking for white paint, you'll find some under the stairs probably, or in a cupboard. Pure, what if brilliant you don't have white. Stairs or a cupboard? Why would you keep it there? In the shoebox. In the shoebox. Yeah. So, is that what people keep? <laughs> so yeah, seriously. And if you want to do yeah, the white bit, to be honest, there. you can do the white bit. Um, you would keep it up there, Daddy. You what? You would keep it up there. I would keep it up there, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or in like the space where we don't keep it. Uh, mummy's on. Oh, hello, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hopefully everyone's alright. There aren't many messages coming through, which, means, which is good because everyone's painting. Okay, we're on trees next. No one's stopping me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hello. We're on trees next. I got a little bit of white, but you can't even see it. But we're on trees next. We're going to paint the trees in red. We'll forget about it. No, I think it's good. We're going to do this tree later. So before that, we're going to paint this tree. There's, Can we there's do probably it darker? yeah. So the first, the trees in the foreground need to be a bit darker than the trees that are further down the alleyway. So like the ones down here need to be orangey. And the ones here need to be red. And it all depends on where you've got your lamps as to where your trees go. But if you've got them roughly in the right place, get some red paint or at got least it. some very dark orange. Because that. Oh, I'll give you a mixing up your I would say you're going to put that on afterwards, but if you want to freeze it out, you freeze it out. Um, I've got some orange paint. Quite dark orange, what, like this. What colour, what uh, main colour is this? Mm, is it maroon? Mm. Maybe maroon. Yeah. So we're going to do the first tree. Okay? 
Before we start painting the trees, you just need to remember that it needs to land somewhere, it needs to land just off the side of this path. So the first tree, should we do the bottom first? Let's do the bottom first. And it's quite thick. And it's like that. Smudge in, the, smudge in with your finger the, the base of the tree trunk if you want. That's quite a nice way of doing it. Oh, that's good taste. But look, go, go horizontal at the bottom. And once you've got that, you want to start from the top and work your way down. If you think it's going to go... Before we do this, actually, we need to make sure that you don't have a tree oh, trunk cutting see. straight... Cutting, no, it was, it's fine. Okay. You want to make sure you don't have a tree trunk cutting straight through the middle of the lamp, because the lamp's the bright bit, so there's going to be no tree around it. So what you've done there, Dave, is perfect. It's just stopped there. Let me do mine and I'll show you what I mean. So it's there, then it stops, then it gradually, you can see it That's again. That's so cool. Oh, thanks. Thanks very much. Oh, God. And it's like bright. Well, please, you're so happy. So you can't see the... That's things. exactly it. Can you explain it, please? To so, you know when there's a light? Yeah. Um, and it's on the brightness. Thing. Yeah. Then... Stand back a bit. Then it fades, then it fades, and then you can see stuff. That's it. That's what lights are for! You can't see anything near the lights. So, the, so you can have a few branches up here. This one's probably too. If you do end up putting some red on it, you can always paint yellow straight on top. So I'll probably mess mine up a little bit. And then that wants to be quite a bit of a tree trunk there. And then we've got Look at it! <laughs> and we've got another tree trunk here. There's probably one, two, three, four trees that you can see in the foreground. Now don't forget the line here. The line of the tree trunks. So the second tree is going to be a little bit higher up the canvas than the That's first tree. I do for them trees. That's good. And the third tree is going to be a little bit higher up the canvas and probably a bit skinnier. All the answers are on your reference. My answers are over there, hopefully. And then the fourth tree is a little bit skinnier and a bit further up the canvas again. Oh, that's nice there. Careful when you get close to the lights. Good. And then when you get to the rest of these trees, they're really sort of vague because they're far off and the light's diffused and all of that. Yeah, like that. It should maybe be a bit lighter than that, days, but... And then roughly, as we get to this vanishing point bit, everything's all sort of... Shorter. ...blended together, days, when we get over here. It's all sort of blended together and a bit rough. We're going to put the people on top of this area later, so don't panic, really, about how it looks. We can get a few little branches in. Now, make sure, the other point, I'm just watching, make sure your trees aren't flying in mid-air. Make sure they're low enough that, they're, that they've hit the ground. So yours stays, oh no, you brought it down, you did it, you're all right. And then as you go further along, the trees are a little bit skinnier, a little bit more. So do a real thin one there. Do a real thin, like, like there, where that one is. Needs to be in between the big one and the little one. Needs to be a medium sized tree. Okay. Okay, I'll give you a little time to catch up. I just did that for the top of the tree. Hey? I just did that. Yeah, it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Oh, you've got. I know. So there's a debate at the end whether or not you actually paint the lamp posts in. I wouldn't because it can mess the whole thing up a bit. I do not. What time are we on, Daisy Doodles? It is. Oh, God, no. 
past 12, wow. so everyone's all right. I'll shout up, Ella. I'll shout up. Oh, I know what it is. It'll be the fan. Let's turn the fan off. That's what oh. it is. That's why people can't hear me very well. Sorry. At least I don't have that. Daisy, someone's asking how old you are. Nine. She nine. But I'm still ten. When are you ten? In big presses. Like a huge golf. <laughs> Alright, so if everyone's sort of roughly up to speed and they've got some nice, a nice avenue of trees where the big thick ones here and then it goes gradually down and we leave a little bit of space for the light to shine through, then we're all doing pretty well. Next bit, dead easy. Dead easy. We need, a, we need a clean brush and if you haven't got a clean brush give it a swish and a bit of a wipe and try and get it clean. We're going to mix up clean. we're going to mix up um, a blue colour um, and we're going to paint all of this blue basically. Make sure your um, canvas or your paper is dry before you start this. It should be by dry. now. This is why we did it first. Right then. Are you ready? Have you got some white paint? Make sure you have got a clean brush or cleanish brush for this because we don't want a really lucky sky. And we don't want to use any water either. No water because did I spray you? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, you want a brush? No, no, don't start. No, no, because it's my special nice jacket. Oh, it's nice um, oh, nice. yes. We're going to mix up. We're going to mix up some light blue and some white. Yeah? No. That's no that's water. Blue. Because if we put water on, the yellow will shine through and it'll have a big green sky. What I call white and light blue is blue. <laughs> blue? Because it's light blue. Okay, mix Ooh. up mix up some loo. Mix up some loo and get it on. <laughs> oh, I see. If you I put it on too it. thin it goes green. We don't want that. Put it on put it on thick and we just when you get to the when you get to the orange bit, just start breaking up the blue. Excuse me, don't do that. I look like a photo of the other side. Excuse you. Pardon you. I thought I'd done it. Okay, and then just, you just make it go a bit dotty as you get closer to the lights, make it go a little bit dotty. This is the, where everyone can just relax now. We've done the hard stuff. Seriously, chill out. I'm chilled out now. It's going green! So it's going green either because you've already got some yellow on your brush or you're not putting enough paint on. Daisy, you never have the problem of not putting enough paint on, do you? Because you use loads of paint. So it must be because you haven't been bothered to clean your brush. No, I, I, I got a new brush. Oh, did you? Maybe use a bit more white paint then. Or maybe you got some. Some of the wrong colour in your paint. It's not going through That's good. So when you get to the edge, just start breaking up a bit. Like that. This is pretty straightforward, isn't it? Right, who is who wants a shout out? There's definitely Sarah and Atty. Definitely Sarah and Atty. And Emmy. Hi guys. This is our tenth one and I think Sarah and Atty have done all ten. Plus loads more when we're in pubs and that. Um, yeah, ten. Ten of these. Tenth week of lockdown. I 
I've done all of them. You've done all of them. Thanks very much, Dave, for uh, all of your uh, continued support. <laughs> That's really good. I like it. That's really good. good. You're great. Yeah. <laughs> You're great, Ace. I'm not going to happen. Get away from me, Green. It's actually quite relaxing. <laughs> Everyone at home's going, this is not relaxing. Okay, we've got Ivani, uh, Aaron, or Aaron, 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 I'm not sure which. Hi, anyway, Sam and Mia, or Maya. Yay, 10 on the 9th of July, too. I'll be, uh... Ooh, ooh. same birthday. Same birthday. Same birthday as David Hockney, 9th of July. Wow. Yeah, I know. Wow, wow. That's easy to remember. It's good, isn't it? Well, for you, it's Shout out to Anne Marie. Here we Anne go. Marie. Wait, Second painting coming along. Is the men yeah, some people are thinking Melanie. it is relaxing. Melanie. 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 Yeah. Is there Melanie? I don't know. I swear I heard Melanie. I don't know. Say, say hello Melanie. if your name is Melanie. Say Cause hello cause if your name is Melanie. I just what are you doing like reverse shout outs, Dave? Yeah. Anyone call Melanie? Anyone? I think that's a reverse shout out. I've never even heard of that before. I'm the first one in the world to do a reverse shout out. Yeah. Probably. Okay, so we are going to paint over this line here, but we need to remember it's there. So, it's up to you. Okay. I don't care about brush strokes at the top, Dave. Just listen quick. Brush strokes at uh, brush strokes at the top doesn't matter which direction anyway you like. But when it comes to the river, the brush strokes need to be horizontal because of water. You with me? Are you with me, Dave? Like scales don't go forward. Oh, the scales do not go forward. That really wound me up yesterday <laughs> on the great flower. What's it called? Great, the big flower fight. The big flower fight. It's good. Well. Right, What's up with that we all white? We did, we, <laughs> we did watch it. The, the big flower. Because in our house, we never know what to watch. Everyone wants to watch people watch sing. Stuff, right? I can't Daddy wants, wants to watch golf. Yeah. I want to watch kids' stuff. Mama wants to watch like. Shooting and killing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we don't know what to watch. Mummy hates animation. Uh, so yeah. Hey, Charlotte and Zachary. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, guys. balance this a bit because we've used all the primary colours. We've got the yellow, the red and the blue. Them's your primary colours. Daisy's just going to go underneath there with a bit of river so let's not forget our um, horizon there. So if you go have a quick look in your reference just to balance this out a bit there's going to probably be a little bit of blue down here or maybe a tiny bit of blue in the tree just little bits, maybe some in the path. It doesn't really matter where you put it, just put it around so that it balances it all together. Balances your composition. And, that people have to mind, um, do not press on the links. Oh yes, don't press, if there's any dodgy links, which I don't think there are, don't press on them. We deleted them. Lexi and Lottie. I swear I've heard that name before. Yeah, you're gonna struggle with watercolors. Watercolors are hard. People begin painting in watercolors. It's madness. Madness. <laughs> it's one of the hardest things to use. Okay, if you're looking for something to do, we're not going to do that much more on this before Look the break. Hmm? 
completely sober to paint this. If, you, if you're looking for something to do, you can make a slightly darker blue coming in from the edges. Or you can do what I do. I mix it all together. Yeah, and you can just like to make it a big soup. So you're going to have a little and bit of a And then we can do liquid paint, where you go... Pour... no, it's, something, it's called something else, but I don't know. Pouring. Pour paint. Pour no, paint. Dark. I don't know if everyone's up to speed or struggling. Tell us if you're up to speed. Do, 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 do. Okay, everyone's all right. Morning, Jez. Afternoon, even. You paint Daisy Doos. Let me just tell you something. You've painted over this bit. Yeah. No, you've painted over this bit. Oh. So draw a line with the box so if you've messed you can always scratch paint out. No, no, not there. Here. This. Daisy. Just look. Up on the side. Oh. Uh. Got it? It goes up on the side. Yeah, there you go. Right, you're back here. Alright. Then what's this supposed to be? Are you with me? Are you with me? Alright. This is pretty chilled, isn't it? Oh, that's unbeatable. Pretty chilled. Yours is too good. Hi, Becky from Leeds. Yeah, we've got some shadows coming in. Do you know what? We've got five minutes. I reckon we can do a little bit more. We're going to do something in the next five minutes. Just as a sort of taster of what we're going to be doing in the, sort of, in the second half. So get some dark blue paint and mix it up with some red. A little bit of red keeps well, it... I've already done it. What? You've already done it, Jase. Yeah, you need to mix up some more. Oh, I've got a load of it. I should be able to see that. I've got far too much red. I'm going to put some in into my dark blue to make a dark, to make a, a real deep purple. I don't know if you can see it on there, like that. It's like it's the tiny bit. It's maybe like a quarter Wait, red. Wait, so Shout out for Claire's friend Kate. Hi, Kate. Right. So this dark colour. What we're going to do is like a little taster of what we're going to do in the second half. Remember where the light's coming from? Yeah, that's a really, you always get that brilliant colour. I don't know yeah. how you do it. I, mean, I want it a bit darker, more bluey. We can just, let's just have an experiment down the side of this tree. So I'm going to hold my brush like this, finger and thumb, and I'm going to go down the side of the tree and paint that this side of it dark. This is amazing. Yeah, good colour though. Nicely interrupted as well. Beautiful. I don't, I don't need to use and we're going to put that on top, of, exactly on top of the red. And if you use this edge of the brush like this, these are kind of burners, but if you use the edge of the brush like this, it just catches onto the paper and you do it like that. This side's going to be dark, so hold on. This side's going to be darkest. And then you can almost start to see the the light shining on that side of the tree, and the red's poking through a little bit, and it might even, if you're lucky, start to look a bit like a tree. And then, we'll sort of freestyle a little bit down there. Wait, wait, the bottom of the tree. Hold on a second. You can, don't forget, you can always use your fingers. Does mine look like a tree? Yours looks very much like a tree. I like them. Yeah. I like him. We're going to have some shadows. So there's one like that. And this is like I say, this is it. We've got two minutes till the break. This is a starter. Just to, just to let us know what we're doing. And we can just put a little bit in there. And it's just dark blue and red. Makes purple. Yeah. 
unless you've got a, you might already have some purple mixed up. In oh, which case, no. you can use it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Yay! Diane's gonna watch this and then figure it out, um, and then do the next. Do it when she watch, when she's gonna watch it back. That's a brilliant idea. Yi T from China. Days. China. We've got China watching. Say hello to China. Hi, China. I don't want really you pressing any buttons on that though, because you all went mental last time, didn't it? Yeah. Sam from Suffolk. Hi. Morning, Tracy. Afternoon. It's the afternoon. It feels like the morning still. All right, so this is now officially the break. Uh -uh. Daisy's going to show us how to make a pom-pom in the break. Yes! <laughs> I got a phone. I'm going to show you how to right, make a pom-pom. Right, I'm going to make a pom-pom. So, what you need? Cardboard. Yes. Sally and Genevieve from Orms Kirk. And then you can do, 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 use do. like a sellotape thing. Yeah. And get a pencil. And just draw a circle. And no one can see what you're doing. I'll show you after. Anastasia from Manchester. Bye, Bart. Bye, Bart. Like two donuts. Nobody can see what you're doing here. I know, I can't. But then you get like a 5p or something. Like that. Like I need to find one. Hi, Sue. Can you help me? Ellen from Hong Kong. Hi, Ellen. Do you have a 5p? Well, I've got 5p. Do I look like I've got 5p? Yeah. <laughs> um, we used a bottle top last time, didn't we? Yeah. Any questions during the break? Just fire them over. I don't think you can, you can send images on Messenger. I don't think you can put images into the feed at the moment. Well, I don't think, I don't think you're allowed to. Where's the bottle top? Izzy from Norwich. What? What's bottle any top? bottle top, guys? Just take any bottle top. Look, here's one. Thank you. I mean, we're not short on bottle tops around here, are we? But that's too big. Okay. Alexander, Sophia and Eleanor are painting with Anastasia. That's brilliant. Yeah, it's live. It's live. We're live. <laughs> And Wendy says, what are we going to do? What are we? Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Okay, Everyone so in the break, put your paintbrush away and then it'll be alive. For after the break. Wendy's asking what we're going to do after the, um, okay. after the, um, what? I'm doing the bottle. I reckon we carry on Saturdays. I reckon we're going to do Saturdays, 12 o'clock. Might as well. Because it's quite good fun. People are getting into the art, you know. So that's that. Then cut it out. Everybody will soon be able to make pom poms. By the way, you need wool for this. Not many people have wool. Kaylee! Sosia! Hi! I hope I pronounced that right. Clary in York from Kate, hey, hey. That's from Fraser. Yeah, we're gonna carry on on Saturdays. It's too good, it's too good. It's too much fun, Saturdays we can do it. And if we even if we're on holiday or something, or not like here, we can still, I reckon we can still do it, as long as you've got Wi-Fi and phone, right? 
and paint. Bit of paint. Well, we could do a drawing one or something. No. Everyone is colourful. Ten weeks days we've been doing this. Right, so also, just as a bit of a thing whilst we're in the break. Um, I do Zoom parties, so that's these, these are free, you can donate on the PayPal thing if you can, brilliant. Uh, and then we'll definitely do them on Saturdays if enough people donate for it. Um, but we'll do Zoom parties as well, it's £20 a head, and then there's a Zoom one, so it's two ways, so um, I can talk to you rather than talking to my phone as I am now. Um, so yeah, that's quite good, little, uh, little private party, birthday party, stuff like that. Kids ones, well, what else do people need to know, Daisy Doodles? You could do like a Oh, I've got supplies. Uh, yeah, I've got canvases. Ah! What? It's freer if you're. It's freer. Like that. It's freer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I need to do. Let's put this little thing of bobs up here. It's Okay, so now I'm going to kind of put them together like this, like this. It is the break. This is the break. Where's the, the wall? I might move this in a bit and people can see. Oh, this is how to make a colourful pom pom. So you'll need two packs of wool. <sighs> The wool? Yeah. Why did you put the wool? It's in my bag. Which bag? Um, that bag there. Ah, here's the wool. This is officially the break. There shall be no more teaching for another 10 minutes Whoa. until 1 o'clock. Daisy, in the background, is going to, if you can listen very carefully, she'll show you how to make a pom pom. So you maybe, do you know what, Dave? We'll do a proper, we'll do a proper video of how to make a pom pom, and we'll stick it on Instagram or something. Okay. No, Facebook. But I'm still doing it. Yeah, you have fun. Yeah, you have fun. <laughs> <laughs> just tie it. I just realised my my beret is not not straight. <laughs> That's better, isn't it? No one said. No one said I look like a massive idiot. Because they're nice people, guys. That's what it is. Ding, 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 ding. Now you just wrap it around. Keep on going, keep on going. My Shan, Ishan in London. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, we're hello, in London. Hello, hello, hello. We're in London too. North London. North. Are you in South or North ding, or ding, West ding, or ding. What's the other one? West or East, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're in Hampstead. Yeah. Those people are in Hampstead. Julie in Oswald Thistle. Where's Oswald Thistle? I've forgotten. I've been through there. Oswald Thistle. Is that Lancashire? I don't know. Oh, it's... Now it's driving me mad, isn't it? Now I'm searching it out. Yeah, it's up there, yeah, yeah. In between Accrington and Blackburn. So we've properly gone. We've properly gone global, days. We've got China and Oswald Thistle. There's no sort of two places that are further apart. By the way, this uses up a lot of wool, so, mm. like, a lot. But it turns out good. I've never done a colourful one, but I know how to do it. So. Oh no, Elaine squirted the last of her yellow paint all over her dress. What's she going to do? Don't know. Don't know. Well, unlucky, for one. Um, but actually, probably don't need any more yellow paint. So, it should be all right.
Jess says hi from Leicestershire. Leicestershire. Yep, yep, yep. Thanks, Anne Maria. Saw that. No one can see. Look. Yeah. Like That's brilliant, yeah. Okay, then kind of cut the string where you've done it. And then tie do, 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 the other do, do, do. hammer to it. Christine, we're in um, Hampstead, Belsize Park around there, North London, isn't it? So Ruth's asking why do we use yellow bait yellow paint as the base colour? Hmm. That's a good question. I think the yellow just warms it all up, basically. Um, I mean we could paint it, you could you could leave the white bits out, but yeah, it just warms it all up. Ah yes! Louise has just cleaned her brush in her tea. Da da da. Hi to Lisa, Tara, Emily, and Sophia from Louise. Why did I do that in my orange? Everyone does that. It means you're a proper painter now. When you start dipping your paint in your tea or your wine, and then you start drinking, oh, you're orange. and you start drinking the paint water, it means you're a proper artist every day. Every day you do that. Congleton. Mummy's from near there. Yeah. I thought she was in Disney. Yeah, Congleton's not really much from there. Do, 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 do. Samika and Terry in Berkshire. How many people have joined? Joined what, Nicole? What, 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 what? I think she means this. Going back the whole thing. Uh, about 140 watching this, I think. Is that higher than last time? <laughs> Harry's painting next door days. So the closest is through this wall. And the furthest is China. Can you put my phone on charge? Can I put your phone on charge? Yo, uh, why can't you do that? Because you're dead busy? No? No. Okay, well, I'll do that then for you. No yeah, no problem. Anything else you want me to do for you? No, I'm fine. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good news. That's good news. Okay, now I'm going to rip. Oh, look at that. It's nearly, um, nearly one o'clock. Shout out to Emmy. Shout out to Emmy. Okay. Is everyone getting a, taking a deep breath? And doing a pom pom. Take a deep breath because we're about to start again. In two minutes. Like halfway through. You, need to put, you see where the camera is? Right there. So that's halfway through, it should look like that. So you've got a bit of card. No, you haven't. You've got two pieces of card and you've got some wool and you wrap it all around. Then you keep wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it. Okay. You need to definitely do a little video for this. Yeah. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to go. Some tips on painting trees, please. You're going to get those any minute. Any minute. You're going to get tips on painting trees. It sounds ridiculous, but tips on painting trees. Like, there's never, there's never a thicker bit of branch above a thinner bit of branch. It sounds ridiculous, but that's, yeah. 
The tree trunk's always thicker at the bottom. There's never really, never really bulges out a bit. So you can, if you can fix that, it's always like a narrow kind of. See, on my tree here, it's gone a bit thin, and then that's thick. So that's wrong. That that needs to be corrected. And and also, if, uh, tips on painting trees: make sure they make sure they're grounded. Make sure they're on the ground, and then you can blend in the bottom. So you know where the roots go out like that. And then a little bit of shading underneath will help will help them come out of the ground rather than just sort of sitting on sitting and floating in midair, you know? They need to be grounded like I've done here. Daisies are a little bit floaty, see? And the bottom of the trees needs to be flat. So here they're kind of going up like that. The bottom of the trees needs to be horizontal. And then small brush. Start from the outside in, rather than more tips on painting trees. If you if you if you do this with your paintbrush and fan it out, it'll look it it'll look it'll probably go wider. But if you use a thin brush and go from the end of the branch in and make it thicker on the way in, then that's another thing where you can get a bit more control. Hey, Lara and Harrow. Hey Days, look, it's one o'clock. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we'll have to finish that off. We'll finish pom pom at the end. Okay. Okay, right, welcome back everyone. I hope you had a nice break slash catch up with painting. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do more of this. I'm done. Come on, Days, <laughs> you're not done. Right, we're gonna do more of this. We're gonna do um, that purple paint, so the blue plus the red, we need to do the, the back of the lake first. Quite easy, if we need, we need um, yeah, just mix up the same colour, the purple, which is red and the dark blue, or purple. And then we're going to paint a straight line, okay, just watch this. We're going to paint a straight line here, we're going to do this horizon bit. So to do a straight line, we've said this loads of times, but we go perpendicular to the line that you want, and the straighter the line you can get, the better. So we're going in like that, and you can see if you just sort of go left to right, you can control the bottom of the, um, the line quite well. And the top you don't worry about too much. Wow, Dave, that was quick. Mm, it's a bit... You didn't do this while I'm doing it, did you? No. Nah. You don't have to listen to me, you don't really listen to me anyway, do you? And then up the top, just smudge in. Just let the paint run out on the brush, so you just keep painting until the paint runs out. And that way you get a nice kind of fuzzy, distant finish, rather than like loads, if you put loads of thick paint on here, it'll jump forward and you want it back. That's not very good. Wow, okay, that's fine. Anything near this bit, just blend it in. The forest. Yeah, okay, so that's all right, Daisy. It's all right, isn't it? Okay, and then what's next? Then we're going to do this tree last. We need to do the rest of these trees. So you can go small brush. Let's not forget that... Um, where's my small brush thing, Dogs. Oh, just put my brush Oh, that's so important. I'm sorry. I just got the brush in the water. Oh. Can I have a cover brush? Oh, right, like that is it. Thanks. I got the better brush. Okay, so little tips on painting trees. We're just going to do some little branches up here. And don't forget they run out near the, they run out near the light. So it's really, we're not doing branches, we're just doing some little lines. Some little lines of like Little lines like that, not loads, especially like down here. Probably don't do any because the, you wouldn't see any branches down there. Is there I don't know if you call it actually. Probably not because she always buys, she always buys canvas. Um, okay, and then we're back on these trees. That was a good. Did a good one there. And then we're back on all of the trees. So, oh, actually, no, not all of the trees. Probably the first three or four trees want to be dark like this, and you can make up some branches. Look at your reference. Then we're going straight on top of the red. And if you want to leave a little bit of light on the right hand side of your tree, you can. And then just with your finger, 
just rub in the bottom and then just do that. Okay, so then we can move on. I'm going to speed it up a bit and then um, you lot can probably catch it later or now. Or now or I could have kept this. Do you know what? I need a picture. I need a printout of the original day. Can you see them? Because what I've been doing is I've been doing. Oh, I'll show you a printout of something. Tell you what, let's just get it from this computer. Well, it's not a printout, it's a real thing. I found a real thing! What's he talking about? Of something else. <laughs> no, it's by the same artist, so it's very good. Okay, as we no, go further no. back, there's less and less blue. So these trees here are kind of just red ones. So you're probably going to get four trees, three or four trees that have got the blue on it. But I just did that. And the rest of them can just be kind of smudges, okay? It's right. Hard. I'm hungry. Brilliant. Brilliant. We're nearly done today, so you can have your pot noodle soon. Your feed of the day. Now, here comes the fun bit. We're going to put in some dark leaves. You can use big brush or little brush or medium green brush, leaves. whatever you like. Not green. Green comes last. Oh. And we're just doing these little swishy leaves that are out of the light. Don't go near the light with these ones. Keep an eye on your reference because all the answers are on that. I'm kind of making this up as I go along. I just don't know where my reference has gone, I've lost it. But I've made it before, and I'm doing roughly speaking. And we're just making up some, some leaves. Oh, that's going well, Daddy, so I like that. Here. Swish, swish, swish for some leaves. Try not to care too much. That's a tricky one. If you start to care, you get you get caught up in it. Daisy's not really caring, and she normally does an alright painting, don't you? Because you don't really care how it looks. Which bizarrely, so I think it's a bad painting. Now, we need to reinforce these uh, lines of, of um, perspective here. So however you want to do that. There's one there. Make sure it goes thinner at the top and thick at the bottom. That's because it goes further away. Obvious, but not always. Not always uh, people don't always remember. Okay. Really good, but it goes, so your path, yeah, yeah, you want to make sure you get right in at the bottom and not so, and fan it out at the top. So get right in at the bottom and thicker. Okay, so that's all right. This is looking okay. Don't forget the, um, these things will have some shadows, basically. <laughs> We're going to have some dark shadows in the foreground here, in the blue or the red. You want to get some in there, Dave. Let a bit of that yellow shine through. And we're doing the same thing up here. Just remember when, it go, when you go far off into the distance, just remember to make it a little bit more sort of sketchy. What time are we? Five past one. We're doing, we're doing good. We're doing really good. Well, you're doing well. I've got that off you, Dave. I've got that off you. Yeah, I always say, oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, I'm doing really good. I'm doing good. That's good. No, I say. Dave, so you say I'm doing good, and you should I'm say doing, I'm doing you're well. You're doing good. Mm. Yeah. I say it, but I don't know what I say. Yeah. Okay, it's so we've got some nice dark coming up, so the foreground's coming forward which is good I've done all of the paintings Wendy in here all of the paintings we should take requests shouldn't we so next week we know what we're doing for the next two weeks we're going to do Monet next week Japanese footbridge really good one really good one and we can make it look so that you know it's almost exactly like the original then the week after we're going to no, we always paint. We always paint. No. Yeah, we're always painting. Painting class, isn't it? Painting class, next. No, chalk. 
Yeah. You can put chalk pastels on this if you want. Yeah. No. Start mixing. We're going to start mixing this up now. We're going to start mixing this up. If you want Wait, to. I've got a oh, actually, no, we're not. We're going to paint that tree on the right. Yeah. yeah, Wendy, we've done some flowers. So if there's any videos that you want to catch up on at the moment, they're all still on the Facebook page. Wendy's gone and did it. Yeah, she loves it, Wendy. Right, here we go. Okay, we're going to do the big tree. We're going to do this big tree. I've got a blister. I've got a blister. I'll take them shoes off. We'll just let everyone catch up for a minute. Do, do, do. Yeah, Diane, the Monet is going to be mega. Need a little bit of green paint. Can I have some green paint, please? going to do a little bit of green paint or green HP sauce I like to use. Um, a little bit of green paint so that we can do a little bit of not the footpath but the bit of grass in between the footpath and the river we need to put a little bit of green paint in there before we, we, before we put the tree on top so you can use some green paint or you can make your own which is yellow and blue. Everyone Kid, because adults might not like it. Should watch The Willoughby's. What are you talking it's about? It's a good film. Oh, is it a film review thing now? What? Or is it a painting class? What is it? What's this film review? The Willoughby's. <laughs> Who? The Willoughby's. The Willoughby's? I've never heard of it. It's so good. It's new. Okay. But it's on Netflix. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're just going to put a bit of green on this, on this section, on this triangle here. We're going to put some green. Yeah? No, you know, I'm kind of busy. What are you doing? Tying this. Hmm. So it doesn't break. You should always tie it. So be careful on this bit, because although it's tempting to do this line up to our vanishing point, it's actually flat. It's actually a flat bit of grass. So, you know, we need to have horizontal lines, really. So you can kind of see that in their face. Just tying it. Oh, oh. So you got pom pom duty. And then, because we've got a bit of green there, we need to balance it out. We're going to pop a little bit of green. Look at your reference and see where, see where um, there is some on your painting. But just spread some green around a little bit. Maybe there's some in there. I can't remember because I've lost my a bit of green in there. Maybe there's some green in there. Base. Okay, great. Green on there. Green. Yeah. <laughs> Good dancing. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, you have not mind, Okay, so once we've got that bit of green in, there's a little bit of green floating around in these, floating around in these leaves up here as well, probably. Maybe a bit down there, wherever you want, really. Okay. Now, this is the last, what, 15 minutes and it all comes together. 15 minutes! <laughs> we put the people in right at the end. There's a tiny little lesson on doing the people, but really, um, it's about the bigger, the bigger picture. Okay, so with a small brush or, I mean, you can use a big brush if you want, as long as it's got a point on it. So I've got a chisel brush, so if I spin it like that. Then that's all right. Your that brush is a bit too far, too far furry. We're going to do this big tree, and it's the same purple colour. Which so it's yellow and yellow in uh, yellow. What about red in with the blue? Work out beautiful days, beautiful. Uh, work out where you want the tree to end. <laughs> You're just watching yourself, obviously. 
Work out where you want the tree to finish. It wants to finish green, not green. on the footpath. It wants to finish in the green um, on the green verge. Verge. It's on the verge. Now, what's the word that we should use today? Verge. Yesterday. No, it's not. It's like ombre. Ombre. Yeah, ombre is the what is it? It's grand green. ombre. Huh? It's from changing from one colour to another, isn't it? Yeah. So it's like dark. No, it's dark to light. Is it? Yeah. Is that what ombre is? Green, 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 green. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Tree. Remember, you want it to finish here. So straight at the top, the tree goes all the way from the top. You've got this thing, Dave. All the way from the top down to the bottom. Here we go. Thin at the top. Wow. Gradually getting thicker. That's so cool. Straight over there and then thicker at the bottom. Take a deep breath before you do it. Straight down. Starts at the top. Start at the top and work your way down. Rather than starting at the bottom, it'll, it'll sort of fuzz out. You get more control like that. Hold the paintbrush like this so you've got your, you can use your little pinky for support. It's your support pinky. Dentists know this. Dentists. Um, and then you yeah, and then hold that the paintbrush. That just must be like off for the rest of the week. Loads of dentists do this. Loads of dentists yeah. do this class. That's good days. I like it. I really like that. And then you can make up as many little branches as you like. But I would always start at the top and work your way down. And that way, it's easier to make it go thicker rather than eat, rather than making it go thinner. You see what I mean? So it's easier going edge to. And there's some of these branches at the risk of sounding like Bob Ross. These trees are your friends. So these branches, like they fork off. That's fork off. Fork? Yes. Not no. <laughs> no. 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 Right, so that's good. And we've got some skinny little ones coming like that. Oh dear. Are we TikTok in now? Yeah, that's not even the TikTok. Just some random dancing. Trees going well. You always have to do some random dancing. Right, Dave, so make sure you don't have one branch that's thicker than the trunk. Because that never happens in nature, ever. So if you've got one big thick branch, you can't make it thinner. Because we've already done the background, we could be take ages. If you've got one big thick branch that's thicker than the tree trunk, the only way to fix it is to make a bigger tree trunk. That's literally it. So Daisy, it's about to... Oh, she's already done it. She's already fixed it. Already fixed it. My tree trunk must be a bit bigger. Oh, you can just do that. 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 Yeah, you could just rub it out. It's a bit of a high risk strategy, Dave. I know you don't really care too much. And try it. Like, another tip for painting trees: everyone forgets the trees are um, three dimensionally round, so the so the branches come out from all directions. Most, a lot of people, when they're painting a tree, they just do a trunk and then branches coming out like that, which would mean which would mean the tree is like like that rather than you know like, rather than branches coming out all the time, all, all, from all directions. It just means that the branches are more concentrated in the yeah. middle. Mm. The trees are more, uh, the branches are more concentrated in the middle than they are at the uh, edges. There we go, but there's a half oh, decent tree I think. Hope everyone's all right. Hope everyone's all right. Helen is speeding ahead. Speeding? All right, Dom. Dom's watching. No. <laughs> 10 minutes. Oh, okay, yeah, 10 minutes, yeah. So, Days, I was supposed to go to Guns N' Roses concert tonight. COVID is off. Right. Okay, what have we got? We've got 10 minutes. Everyone's all right. We can do this. We can do this. <laughs> We're almost 
almost into freestyle now. Mm. Almost into freestyle. Mm. Let's freestyle some um, days. Should we freestyle some red leaves? Mm. Yeah. Yeah? Mm. Freestyle some red leaves uh, for, the, yeah. for this tree. So we want to scoop a bit of red and scoop a bit of yellow maybe. And then we just yeah. put it on like that. Oosh. Oh man. Get a dry, get a dry brush. Otherwise it drips down like that, that's it. Luckily I swept it up. Make sure your brush is dry. And we'll just do that. Don't overdo it. Oh Daisy Doos, don't overdo it. Daisy Doos, don't overdo it. Dice, don't overdo it, dice. And you can mix it with some yellow and some red, or some green and some red. Maybe a bit in here. Don't go too crazy. Yeah. No, just green. I need some green. There you go. And then there's some red in here, isn't there? Oh, now it's coming on. Now I just need a little bit of yellow. A little bit of red in there. Don't forget, keep looking at your reference. Because if you look at your reference, all the answers are there. I don't if you follow me, my reference. Your, that's your reference there. If you're following me, then you know I'm going to go wrong a bit because I'm not really following. Follow me. Follow I'm never going to go wrong. No, this is always right. <laughs> I'm done. There I'm we go. Friend. Oh wait, I'm going to do the people. There's a couple more things we need to do. We've got 10 minutes, we're okay. I want Don't the forget, people. you can always Should watch this people? back. Just wait until then. Um... I'm going to do the people. <laughs> Dom's on the conference call watching this. Alright. Oh, that's beautiful, days. I love it. Why don't you put a bit of yellow on that, um, on the right-hand side to make your tree a bit bigger? Okay. Yeah. Those actually look like people, man. They just like snowmen. Yeah, well, that's all right. I think they're a little bit low down, but... Um... Morning, Ray. Ha <laughs> ha! Eleanor's wondering when we're going to draw the people. Yeah, it's a good question. Just do it now with me. <laughs> I suppose we should do. I suppose we should do. Okay, let's limber up. Limber up, everyone. Just, oh wow, this has done it. I would say, the um, if we take a little zoom in, zoom in on your people, the, the vanishing point is really where the umbrella is. And the umbrella, we try not to think of it as people, okay? I just we thought definitely it, want a small brush. Just think of them as snowmen. Wise words there, Dace. Wise words from my assistant there. If you've got a dark back, if you've got a light-ish background like I have, we want to make the um, the umbrella slightly darker than the background, okay? So, bear in mind, you probably want the feet of your people to be around about there, or figure just figure out where in your painting where you want the feet to be and where you want the heads to be, and whether or not, before you've painted it, they're going to look ridiculous. So, for instance, if you had the feet here and the, and, the, and the umbrella right up here, it'd look far too big and put the whole thing out of scale. If you had the people, say, like, like that big, probably alright, but probably a bit too small. The way to draw people, oh, so difficult this, but basically, it's so difficult to teach and I can't show you what we're doing, but we're going to give it a go. We'll give it a go like this. Bob, we? you've already done it. What? You're, Bob, your umbrella's too big. What are you talking about? The person that I can see in my head. Oh, man. So, people, um, this, is the rough, this is the rough guide. You do a little triangle with a dot on the top.
So roughly, roughly it's a triangle like that. So of course this, these are shoulders, top bit, top bit shoulders, and then it just drags down. I mean, you don't need to do much. If you start using loads of paint and trying to do shoes and whatnot, you're going to struggle, <laughs> especially if, because these things are really far, the, the, the figures are really far back and you'll be able to, you kind of use your, you use your imagination to see them. You know they're there, but really they're just, they're just like little, and then you can... Silhouettes. Sort of silhouettes, but you can just put a little head on the top like that. And you've got to just kind of go with it. Use a small brush and go skinny to start with. So you could go skinny to start with, go top to bottom, and then obviously the bottom's where your feet are, so but figure out where you want it to go, and then thicken it up at the top. I have a daisy on my face. And then just give it a little smudge like that. You know, and then if you want to start doing arms and whatnot, then you can do, but at least you've got the rough gut, that's like a rough guide of doing these people. So, back to the real thing. Hope that helped a bit. I mean, okay, but let's just do it, let's just do it on here again. Just to go one more time. So, we're going to go. Daddy, and you just drag out the legs, so you can go. You can go a little. You can do a little head first if you want, and then do the shoulders, and then drag out the legs. Daddy. Sit. Hold on a sec, Dave. Hold on a sec, look. And then, oh, look at that. Umbrella goes on top. That's basically it. And then once that's dried, you can you can tweak it. You know, so she's got. I think the lady's got a yellow jacket, and then she's got a skirt on. And then the lights come in from the left, but that's the rough, the rough thing. It's just trying. That's how you get your people. So let's bang these people in. With three minutes to go, <laughs> we can do it. Are you fish, yours. Yeah. You, you got some reflections to do on the um, on the sea. That's the last. That's the finishing touches. So we've got. And here come the people. And at the moment they're the same colour, and then there's an umbrella. But they're kind of, at least they're in now. There they are, they're in. And we can tweak the people, maybe not even now, I mean, you can tweak the people. I like it sort of rough, sketchy, and especially we've got four minutes to go. There's not much we can do. One more row to do, and then we're done with the pom-pom. Finishing touches. We need reflections. We need some white paint, and we need a finger. Daisy, you'll love this. It's finger painted. Oh, I love it. Do you want to get back in? Do you want to finish it off? Yeah, I just need to do one more thing. So, if we get, again, have a little look at the original. This is our... We're just going to touch. Get a little bit of white paint on the finger. And above the, um, at the back of the river, there's a light. So we just dab the light, and then we leave a gap, and we just rub our finger down. So dab the light, and then rub the finger down. Dab the light, and rub the finger down. You can do it with a paintbrush if you want, but this is easier. Dab the light. Dab the light, leave a gap. Yeah? Alright, and then it's the same. It's the same with the people. You're probably going to want to add some more colours. Probably going to want to add some more colours. Where are we? Three minutes to go. Sign it, Dace, and then you're done, sweetie. Well done. Beautiful work. Beautiful. Another amazing painting. Thank you. <laughs> Why don't you pick it up and then show us your people's? The big ones. Oh, actually, right. That's going to fall. We'll do it after. We'll do it. If you're washing hands. Daddy's turn to scissor the.
Det er ikke mig, Pompom. Pom. Tag et bekæmpet joint. Hæ? Lad mig tage et kursen. Okay, nej, ikke et kurs. Right. If you want to, you can mix up a little bit of purple, so white, red and blue. And this gives you like a violet-y colour. And just put it around the place. Put it maybe at the back of the people. Put it on really lightly because it's kind of the opposite of, it's almost the opposite of the um, yellow. So if you put it next to the yellow, it's really going to kind of shine up. Daddy. Hello. Are you doing paint? What's he? Here. Are you doing paint on this? He didn't. He hasn't got any paint on this. Look! Ta-ta! Ta-ta! Oh, don't come to me. That's awful. But have a look at your reference and see if there's any little purple bits you might want to add in. And then there's the... And also you've got the... Um, little white bits at the edge of the foot have to add in. How to make a pom pom. Tomorrow you will be able to look on Instagram and see a pom pom. <laughs> yes, we'll do a pom pom thing. Wow, Ella's done. Congratulations, Ella. Well done, well done. I mean, finished before, finished, first to finish is always an absolute no, time. I'm first to finish. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> first to finish, uh, apart from you. Finish. Second to finish. Okay. It's up to you. If you want to draw in the lamp posts, it's a high risk strategy. I wouldn't yeah. bother. But if ah, you do want to do it, sketch. it's a little brush. And it's like that. But make sure you know where it's going to land. It's really risky. I, did, I actually was quite lucky there. I did that quite well. So here, I, got I the, wouldn't bother. I've got the dot with because as soon as you put a real thick lamp post there, half a mile away down the road, the whole thing, it messes up all your perspective. So, the re yeah, so probably don't bother doing it. A little thing you can tweak, just like the final, the final little thing. If you want to be tweaking your, your people, the street lights are obviously on this side. So if you want to, your, the light wants to be coming there. So you'd have, yes, yes. you'd have a little bit of light there. And then some light on that side of them there, like that. Mm, mm, mm. And it's raining, of course, so you're going to get reflections going like this. I've got the dot, but it's that in my head. Okay. Yeah. You said you didn't want to do the lamp post. Daddy. Maya and Susanna from Gloucestershire. Hey! Daddy. Daisy. You said you didn't want to do the lamp post. I said it was a high risk strategy doing the lamp posts. Basically. Can you cut my pom-pom? Do you want to cut the pom-pom? Yeah. Okay, give us a second. Any have... questions? We're basically... Give yourselves a round of applause. Hey, 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 so get, get in. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. You've done it. An hour and a half. Yeah. Well, well, well done. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, tinker away. Send us the photos in later. We've basically nailed it. Um, you did a good job there. I think hopefully everyone's done a decent job. This I'll keep running for about 10 minutes. So if anyone's got any questions, then fire them in or, you know, or any time this afternoon, if you want any help, I can just, just message me. I can give you some pointers. And then if you send in your photos of your, of your paintings over the course of the weekend, by, by Sunday night, probably cut off. I'll then spend two hours. That's how long it takes days. Two hours cropping them and putting them all into a little video and doing a thing. i uh, doing a little video which I'll put on Facebook. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching and hopefully oh, yeah. we'll be back next week, well we'll be back next week uh, to paint Monet and if you want to do a Zoom party let me know. Oh well, um, are we doing the bridge? Yeah we're doing Japanese book bridge. One. PayPal link is good. Pardon? Yeah that one here, bring it I here. I love that Do you? Yeah, we're gonna make we're gonna make this out of chalk next week. Do you want to paint it in chalk? Daisy's gonna do it in chalk. Interesting. I'm gonna paint it. This one was done in chalk. I wanna do it in chalk. Oil pastels, chalk pastels. Chalk pastels. 
Okay, so there you go, you heard it here first. Daisy's going to do, do hers in chalk pastels. So. Um, yeah, those people painting on paper, I always try and re remind people, or new people, if you're painting on paper, tape up your paper all the way around it, stick it to a board, do your painting, and then when you pull the paper off at the end, you get this lovely white border, and it's so satisfying when you peel it off. Peel it off away from the painting. Because sometimes if you peel it off towards the painting, you can just rip the painting in half, and that's not so satisfying, is it? Ooh. I think it could well be pot noodle time, Dace. Could well be. Yeah. My show and Ishan say hi. How long have I been doing art? I have been... 25 years. 25 years? Oh, thanks very much. Well, I started when I was uh, um, six. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll be doing art forever. Brilliant. Oh, Diane, show me the epic. It won't be a fail. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Just send it in anyway. Let's have a look. Cassie, did you think it was hard? It was pretty tricky. There was a lot. There was a lot to learn. But, um, yeah, you know, next week's going to be probably a bit easier, hopefully. Let's go and do the pom pom. Let's do the pom-pom, Daddy. Let's do the pom-pom. Sarah's twonked it. Let's do the pom-pom. Let's do the pom-pom. Let's do the pom-pom. Right now. Let's do the pom-pom. Okay, we're going to do the pom-pom. Daddy, this is this is this is this I don't mind. Daddy, this is this is this is I don't mind. Yeah, no, I've done pr printed of pom poms in my time, I can tell you. I can tell you. This time, maybe don't go like that with the thumbs out. Remember last time. <laughs> Just pom pom duty, you know? And uh, thanks for saying hello to people. Hello. Daisy, are you back at school next week? We're not back at school yet, Deborah, unfortunately. Not. Daisy's in year five. Year six is, I think, going back. Back I'm not sure. So, okay. more of this nonsense. Um, oh. um, I I'm not going back to school. I am in year five. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's your pom-pom. Wait, pom-pom. Yeah. Well, Daddy, wait. Wait. Where did I put it? Oh, no. Daddy, don't put it there. Daddy, please. Can you hold it? Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, we'll be back. We've got a lot of love days. This is nice. Find a bit of time to finish it off later, that's a good idea. Right then, what we're going to do is I'm going to put mine up to the front so people can see the final thingy. There it is. Thanks, Anastasia. Oh, Maisha's in year five too. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Cheers, Claire. Good one, wasn't it? Good fun. Oh, careful with your fingers. It's quite a miracle when uh, you get a gold gilt frame and you put painting in it. Hey Dave, look.
Hey Alison, how's Whitby? Oh, I want a photo of Whitby with your with your photo of the of your painting. That'll be so good. Right then. Shows your pom pom then, Dace. Here we go. Ta -da. And sometime in the week there will be a pom pom making lesson. Colourful pom pom. <laughs> Alright, say bye.